My name is Stephanie Cohen. I'm a genetic counselor and I've been working in cancer genetics for the past 16 years. These are exciting times in our field with many new discoveries that have led to improved detection of individuals with hereditary cancer. As a result, we've allowed modified man medical management for individuals to improve the detection of early cancers and even prevention of some cancers. Lynch syndrome is the most common cause of hereditary colon cancer. It accounts for about 3% of all colon cancers and as much as 3% of all endometrial cancers as well. It was first recognized in the late 1800s by Dr. Aldred Worthen, who published Family G in 1913. Although he, though he was the first to recognize that cancer had a hereditary component, it wasn't until 1966 that Henry Lynch published another family that the full spectrum of Lynch syndrome began to be recognized. Though the identification and management of individuals with Lynch syndrome has improved over the past 20 years, the syndrome remains vastly underdiagnosed. This is in part due to a lack of, rec lack of recognition of the features of Lynch syndrome and in part due to a lack of coordination of care. For example, a general practitioner may recognize that an individual has a family history of Lynch syndrome. A pathologist may recognize features of Lynch syndrome under the microscope. And a surgeon may recognize that a colon tumor is in an unusual location, more commonly seen with Lynch syndrome, but no one puts all of these together. Additionally, as molecular testing has become more widely available, it has become evident that the features of Lynch syndrome are more widespread than initially recognized. As many as half of the cases of Lynch syndrome do not have recognizable features. It is clear that identifying individuals with Lynch syndrome improves outcomes. This is not only true for an individual with cancer who may have a very high risk of a second primary cancer, but has far-reaching implications for their many at-risk relatives. This review will touch on the history of Lynch syndrome, the cancers associated with Lynch syndrome, the current knowledge of the genotype-phenotype correlation, as well as the management and surveillance guidelines. It is critical that healthcare practitioners can recognize the features of individuals with Lynch syndrome and be aware of the resources available to identify individuals at risk. This will reduce the morbidity and mortality associated with Lynch syndrome.